trips that you plan for the next whole week Pants too long for n- so cheap and your flex so deep, sex so deep You got it girl, you got it Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandler Nicole. Here we are today with June's Pup Box, which I know it's like <clears throat> the middle of the July. <laughs> it's delayed, so expect July's Pup Box to be delayed. Hopefully in August, I can get it back on track to where it's on time, <laughs> even though it's never on time. But you guys know the usual, it's the Pup Box. <clears throat> Let's just get into the box. I don't know why this time they, oh, I opened it, I opened it up upside down. <laughs> so as usual, guys this is what the box looks like <clears throat> and then you know it comes with your little card of what you got here's the toys I'm looking for the insert <clears throat> here it is here's the card insert so it says flea and tick season is here so again guys this is for june so june i guess is flea and tick season <clears throat> which to me fleas and ticks are year long <laughs> Um, it says you can scan the QR code that comes on the box for more pest prevention tips. <clears throat> it says don't let those creepy crawlers ruin the outdoor play. Oh, outdoor pate. <laughs> See, pate. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so basically, this is what it looks like. It says the weather is getting warmer and every potty wants to play outside. Um, unfortunately, that includes nasty fleas and ticks. Fleas are the leading cause of tapeworm, and ticks can transmit serious diseases like Lyme disease <clears throat> to pups and their humans. And then it says yuck. Now, side note, I had a really bad tick infection at my old house. <clears throat> because where I live, we have wild donkeys. And, um, I don't know, that's crazy, right? Wild donkeys, and they just frequent your yard. They just come, they hang out. And, of course, they carry ticks. So, I had a bad tick problem in my old rental property so ticks are a nightmare like we're not even lie about that <clears throat> and they do carry Lyme disease which is uh, oh my gosh okay so then it says so what can you do to protect your pup and your family there are many topical or year-round prevent preventatives you can give to your pup once they're at least eight weeks old talk to your trusted veterinarian to see what option is best for your pup based on your environment and when it's safe to start administering it <clears throat> and then it says good practices for doggos of all ages what if your pup isn't old enough for preventative medication? So here are some best practices no matter how old your dog is. So this, this, if you have puppies and they're too young to take any type of, you know, <clears throat> that crazy stuff. <laughs> it says avoid areas that are heavily wooded, bushy, and leafy. Use a flea comb to do a full body check. Paying special attention to the skin under the elbows and in and around the ears, between the legs, on the belly, or under the tail. Regularly vacuum carpets and clean your dog's favorite fabric covered furniture including their beds and apply flea and tick spray to your hand. Now one thing I can say when I had that like really bad tick infestation, I noticed that the ticks like to hide um, in the dog's ear, like inside the ear, and they like to be in between the paws, like <clears throat> like right here, like in between, like that. So that's what I experienced with the ticks. Um, <clears throat> and they like to hide. I've never really had a problem with fleas. I never had a flea issue, but I did have a tick issue. Um, <clears throat> And then it says find a tick keep calm and tweeze it out so using fine tip tweezers gently pull the tick upward and out with steady pressure avoid twisting jerking to keep the tick intact make sure the entire tick is removed extract any remaining parts with the tweezers flush the live tick down the toilet do not touch it with your hands clean the skin on and around a bite without rubbing alcohol or with rubbing alcohol iodine scrub or soap and water Thoroughly wash your hands with soap. Contact your vet immediately if you notice signs of inflammation, infection, rash near the bite area. So yeah, one thing about I uh, learned about pulling off ticks, <clears throat> you want to make sure you get the whole body off, so you can't pull it too hard because you don't want to just yank off. You know when like a tick feeds, like the tick is little, but it drinks the blood, so it has like that big bulging thing on the back. So anyways, you just want to make sure like you pull the whole tick off, you know the head included because the head is what's going to transmit you know the infection so you don't want to leave that on there and then you don't you also don't want to pull off half the body and leave the head on and then like it's squeezing you know <clears throat> infection into the dog so that's one thing i did learn about ticks so just be careful when pulling off ticks your dog may not like it they may give you a hard time but <clears throat> it's imperative that you do it because the longer you wait the worst so that's one thing i did notice thank god my dogs are tick free and they're flea free Oh, cute. Okay, so let's get into it. This is Leo and Legs. <laughs> Leo and Legs. How cute is that? 
where did I put the scissors so I can cut this? You guys know my routine. <clears throat> there they are. They're so cute. Two safari bros looking for a pate. So this is Leo the lion. This is Legs the giraffe. How oh, so, so cute. It says it's for small and extra small pups, which <clears throat> is big enough for my dogs. My dogs are not that big. It says, hi, we are Leo and Legs, two brothers from another mother. We are safari party animals just looking for a couple pups to show us a good time. <laughs> Don't let our cute little faces fool you. We are filled with a spiky ball and a, oh gosh, and a big squeak. Ooh, deal love squeaks. <clears throat> so this is so from Pup Box. We can get this off Pup Box. Oh, and two, I got an email, Pup Box. So I got this email like maybe a day or two ago. So this is, this Pup Box is for June, but this email came in July. So they're having their Pup Box, Buddha Box. You can go in there and select different things from previous Pup Box that were sent, like toys, treats, whatever you want to select. And you can create your own Pup Box. <clears throat> so I, you know, check that out if you guys are interested. If you want to give Pup Box a try, if you've seen any toys in my videos that you guys like and you want to try it out all these toys that i have in my videos are now on the pup box website and you can build your own pup box toys and treats so check it out <laughs> um <clears throat> and then it says itty bitty perfect for both small and extra small pups they're toothy because they have a spike ball great for teeth and gums which i did a video before about that one um super squeak I like to play loud, bite me, I double dog, dare you, and customer favorite, double trouble, cute outside, and spike with ball. They're really cute. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna cut off legs. Legs to giraffe first. Just gonna cut this real quick. And as always, you guys, I tell you to cut the tags off because, you know, your dogs, <clears throat> they like to chew things, and they like to chew things that they're not supposed to chew, or well, good thing these don't come with tags, huh? Let me just make sure you get everything off. I'm gonna leave this part here. So this is legs. <laughs> He's so cute. So it's really it's a ball in this squeaky. And then let's get Leo. Leo out of here. Free Leo. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and just make sure you get these little things out too because yeah, you don't want your pup to choke by playing with the toy. So here's Leo, <laughs> so cute. So that's Legs and Leo. <clears throat> this box came with a few toys. And then I have this thing here. Oh Lord, oh, oh no. It squeaks at every angle. This is a plush dog toy. It has no stuffing. It's called from Zippy Paws. So Zippy Paws, it's own little brand. Um, not too much information here about it. So <clears throat> I don't even know what this is. Is this a lamb? This is a lamb. Yeah, it's a lamb. So let's cut off Lambie. Her name is Lambie. I just named named her Lambie because it's a lamb. Let's get her ready to go. And she has no tags either, so nothing to cut there. So that's a Lambie. And then let's see. This is a nice little size box. They gave this. What is this? Dingler Dangler for small. So this is again. Uh, pup box brand. <clears throat> Another pup box brand. Um, it's just like a rope toy. Which in the video I did about the dog teeth and gums, um, it says these rope toys are really good for their teeth and gums. So they're really good to chew on for them. It helps clean their teeth. Something that I I didn't know until I got that pup box. So yeah, cute, nice little rope toy. It looks all crazy and jungly. Like, I guess it's maybe a jungle theme, but I don't know. Lambie, I don't know, is not jungle themed. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, pet by Tasty Natural Dog Treat Sticks. So, this came with this as well. Um, <clears throat> smoked turkey with cranberry, nice. They're slow roasted in small batches for maximum flavor. They only use six ingredients, just enough to reward your pet every day of the week. So the ingredients they have are turkey, beef liver, vegetable, glycerin, cultured milk, cranberry, citric acid, with mixed tocerifols. I feel like I say that wrong. That word wrong all the time, but you guys, you guys can just. <laughs> um, how many calories? 220 kcal, 71.5 kcal per treat. So each treat is 71.5 calories. Um, since this product is ex 
intended for supplemental feeding only and should be supervised when consuming. Remove a pep attempts to swallow it whole. Wash hands with soap and warm water after handling any treat. Okay, nice. Okay, so let me see. Where did this... Um, I'm going to look at the cart so I can see where you guys can find this from because it doesn't say that it's a pup box brand. So this is the... Uh, no, this is the Tasty. Pet by Tasty Natural Grain. Uh, uh, doesn't say... Yeah, it doesn't say um, where this is from, but <clears throat> this is it. If you guys ever want to look look for it, this is what it looks like. If you guys want to get your own box, that's what it is. And then last but not least, there's one more treat in here. And it's the Liver Lovey's Grain Free Training Treats. Nice. The liver uh, treats are really nice. I, I usually tap it on top of the, the dog food and they eat it with the dog food. Um, made with real beef liver. DHA for brain development. Okay, nice. So it said this is good for brain development. So it says here, I put, so this is a pup box. So if you want to look for it, this is on pup box. It says here at pup box, we believe that treats for your pup should be both nutritious and delicious and holy cow. These beef flavor liver loveys do just the trick. These high protein bite size commercials and the perfect, are the perfect size for on the go training sessions or to pop inside a treat dispensing toy. To keep your furry fur friend busy as a bee. We leave out all the icky ingredients like wheat, soy, and corn. We add in DHA for brain development so you can feel good about treating your little love with something delicious. And then, so the ingredients are beef liver, chickpea, coconut glycerin, potato flour, pea flour, molasses, canola oil, flaxseed, mixed tasso ferrol, so natural, which is a natural source of vitamin E. And um, what's the calorie? So each treat has six calories. The whole bag, it says 32.24. Let me come in here. Huh. I'm not, I, I, I can't do the math. <laughs> um, so yeah, nice. So this is actually a pup box treat. And then that's all you guys that came in the bag. I feel like we got a lot more toys this time. I feel like they've been kind of like skippy on the toys a little bit. But this time we got a lot of nice toys. <clears throat> we got four toys basically. Even though Leo and Lux came in the same pack, it's still two separate toys. So, you know, I'm just going to toss them over and the pups will find them when they get in. So, thank you guys for watching another pup box. I'll make sure I upload July's pup box for you guys. And then hopefully moving forward, I don't know, September may be an iffy month just because it's my birthday month. So, I'm going to be busy. Um, I'm going to be out of town. So, September, you know, just might be one of those times. So yeah, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my other Pop Box videos. Um, see you guys in the next one. Body girl, you got yeah. Pretty little thing, you got a bag and now you wildin'. You just took it off the line, no mileage. Waiting, you the damn looking fallin'. Talking while you come around and now you silent. Blue the Cooper 17, no guidance. You be staying low, but you know.